Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a case study based question from pair of linear equations in two variables chapter. Now, this question has three sub questions. The first sub question is of one mark, the second sub question is of two marks, and it has an or question as well. That is, either you can attempt the first one or the second one, and the third sub question is of one mark. So, let us start with the first question now. A coaching institute of mathematics conducts classes in two batches, batch 1 and batch 2, and fees for rich and poor children are different. In batch 1, there are 20 poor and 5 rich children, whereas in batch 2, there are 5 poor and 25 rich children. The total monthly collection of fees from batch 1 is rupees 9000 and from batch 2 is rupees 26000. Assume that each poor child pays rupees X per month. And each rich child pays rupees y per month. Based on the above information, answer the following questions. The first question is represent the information given above in terms of x and y. Now, here let us try to understand the question first. It has been given that there is a coaching institute of mathematics and it conducts classes in two batches that is, batch 1 and batch 2, and the fees charged for the rich and poor children are different. In batch 1, there are 20 poor and 5 rich children, and the total monthly fees collected by batch 1 is rupees 9000. Similarly, batch 2 has 5 poor children and 25 rich children, and the monthly fees collected by batch 2 is rupees 26000. So, in the first sub question, we have to represent this information in terms of x and y. So, let us begin by writing the data over here first. So, here we have written the fees paid by each poor child per month is rupees x as it was given in the question and the fees paid by each rich child per month is rupees y. Now dividing it into two batches that is batch 1 and batch 2. It was given that in batch 1 the number of poor children were 20 and number of rich children were 5 and in batch 2 the number of poor children were 5 and number of rich children were 25. Since we have to write down the information in terms of x and y that is in terms of fees. We are going to write here total monthly fees collected by these two batches are. Now let us focus on the first batch. And here we are going to make use of a cross multiplication method. So here we have written number of poor children and fees. So for one child the cost is being rupees x as it is given in the question. So for 20 children how much is the fees going to be? So it's a cross multiplication method. The fees is going to be 20 times x that is we are going to multiply these two. Similarly, we can generate a cross multiplication method for rich children as well. We are focusing on the batch 1. So, I am going to take 5 children over here now for rich children. So, number of rich children and fees. So, one rich child is being charged with fees y. Then if there are 5 children, then it is going to be multiplication of 5 and y. So, these two will get multiplied since we need to find out the fees of 5 children. So, here we are going to write the total monthly fees collected by batch 1 as 20x plus 5y is equal to rupees 9000. As it was mentioned in the question that the total fees collected by batch 1 was 9000. So here we have written 20x plus 5y is equal to 9000. And let us consider this as our equation 1. Now using the similar cross multiplication method, let us find out what is the equation of the total fees collected by batch 2. So here the number of poor children are 5. So for one poor child if the fees is going to be x rupees, then for 5 children it is going to be 5x rupees. Now for the rich children it is going to be for one rich child it is y rupees. Then for 25 rich children it is going to be 25 times y rupees. So let us write here total fees collected from poor children plus total fees collected from rich children is equal to the total fees collected was 26,000 as it was given in the question. So it is going to be 5x plus 25y is equal to 26,000. And let us consider this as our equation 2. So this is the answer for the first sub question. Now moving on to the next one. Find the monthly fee paid by a poor child. Now let us consider the equation 1 and equation 2 we had got in previous part of this question. Now since we need to find out the monthly fee paid by a poor child, we should find out the value of x over here because x represents the monthly fee paid by a poor child. And to find out the value of x over here, I am going to use the elimination method. So let me write here, 
20x plus 5y is equal to 9000 and 5x plus 25y is equal to 26000. So let us try to get rid of y. So here I am going to multiply the first equation by 5 and the second equation with 1. So here the 5 multiplies with entire first equation. So 5 times 20x gives us 100x plus 5 times 5y gives us 25y is equal to 5 times 9000 gives us 45000. Now the second equation gets multiplied by 1. So we get the same equation over here that is 5x plus 25y is equal to 26000. Now I'm going to change the sign of all the terms of the second equation. So plus 5x becomes minus 5x plus 25y becomes minus 25y and plus 26000 becomes minus 26000. So here if you see we have plus 25y and minus 25y so they add up to 0. So we can just cancel the y terms now. So we are left with 100x minus 5x that gives us 95x is equal to 45,000 minus 26,000 gives us 19,000. So here in the next step we get x is equal to 19,000 over 95. So this is going to give us the value of x as 200. So here we have written the fees paid by a poor child per month that is rupees x is rupees 200. So this is our answer. Now moving on to the OR question. Find the difference in the monthly fee paid by a poor child and a rich child. So if you choose this question, you have to do the simultaneous equation. You have to find out the value of x, you have to find out the value of y and then you have to do the difference. Now here since in the previous part of the question I have already got the value of x, I am going to take it directly over here. So let me write. So considering the equation 1 that is 20x plus 5y is equal to 9000. In previous part of the question we got the value of x as 200. Now remember this is an OR question. So if this comes you have to show that x is equal to 200 or whatever the value of y you get using the elimination or substitution method. Now since we had already got x as 200 I am going to take it directly over here and find out what is the value of y. Since x was equal to 200 I am going to plug in the value of x equal to 200 in equation 1. You can choose the equation 2 as well for substitution. So here 20 times 200 plus 5y is equal to 9000. So 20 times 200 gives us 4000 plus 5y is equal to 9000. Now taking 4000 on the other side of equal to sign we get 5y is equal to 9000 minus 4000. So 5y is equal to 9000 minus 4000 gives us 5000. Or dividing both the sides by 5 we get y is equal to 5000 over 5. So we got the value of y that is the fees collected by each rich child as rupees 1000. Now since we need to find out the difference in the monthly fee paid by a poor child and a rich child, let me write here. So fees paid by a poor child per month was 200 and fees paid by a rich child per month that is why we got it as 1000. Now the difference in the monthly fee paid by a poor child and rich child is y minus x. So it is going to be 1000 minus 200 and that is going to give us rupees 800. So this is our answer. Now moving on to the last sub question. If there are 10 poor and 20 rich children in batch 2, what is the total monthly collection of fees from batch 2? So let us generate an expression over here for 10 poor and 20 rich children in terms of fees collected. So the expression is going to be for 10 poor children it is going to be 10x and 20 rich children it is going to be 20y and total fees is going to be 10x plus 20y and the value of x and y we had got in previous part of this question as x as 200 and y as 1000. So plugging in their values we get 10 times 200 plus 20 times 1000. So 10 times 200 gives us 2000 plus 20 times 1000 gives us 20,000. So 2000 plus 20,000 gives us the total monthly collection of fees from batch 2 as rupees 22,000. This is our answer. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then check out these playlists where you will find more examples of this kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.